Hi guys! Welcome to my class. Our lesson for today is about order of operations. We will learn today how to evaluate numerical expression by using the order of operations. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. Evaluate the expression 5 to the power of 4. We are going to use the base 5 as a factor 4 times. So, it will give us 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. To multiply it, it will give us the product of 625. Let us discuss the steps in the order of operation so that you are not going to be lost and your answer will always be correct. First, evaluate expression inside grouping symbols. Next, we are going to evaluate all the powers. Then, we are going to multiply and or divide from left to right. And the last step is add and or subtract from left to right also. However, you can still use the PEMDAS. They are all the same. P stands for parentheses. E for exponent, M for multiply, D for divide, A for add, and S for subtract. So that you can recall the PEMDAS easily, always remember the pretty excellent math detectives are smart. Now, let us study how to evaluate algebraic expressions by using the order of operations. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. Evaluate 18 minus 3 divided by 2 squared plus 10. Since there is no parenthesis in the given equation, we are going to evaluate the powers first. And the power here is 2 squared. It will give us 4. After the power, there is no multiplication, but there is division, so we are going to divide 12 by 4. 12 divided by 4 will give us 3. The operations left or addition and subtraction, so we're going to move from left to right. We're going to subtract 3 from 18. 18 minus 3 will give us 15. Then we are going to work on the last operation which is addition. We're going to add 15 and 10 and it will give us 25. The answer for 18 minus 12 divided by 2 squared plus 10 is 25. Let us work on expressions with grouping symbols. 6 divided by 3 plus 4 multiply with open parentheses, 9 minus 5 close parentheses. So, we are going to evaluate the numbers inside the parentheses. 9 minus 5 will give us 4. If there is multiplication and division, we are going to work from left to right. So, we're going to divide 6 by 3 and it will give us 2. Next, we are going to multiply 4 by 4 and it will give us 16. The last step is addition. So, we're going to add 2 to 16 and it will give us 18. Therefore, 6 divided by 3 plus 4 times 9 minus 5 will give us 18. It is easy, right? What if we have two grouping symbols? Let us work on this equation so that you will be guided. 2 bracket 44 minus open parenthesis 1 plus 5 close parenthesis squared close bracket. We are going to evaluate the innermost expression first and that is 1 plus 5 which will give us 6. Next, we are going to evaluate the power. 6 squared will give us 36. 
Then we are going to work on the numbers inside the bracket. Subtract 36 from 44 and it will give us 8. And the last step is multiplication. Multiply 2 and 8, which will give us 16. Therefore, 2 open bracket 44 minus open parenthesis 1 plus 5 close parenthesis squared close bracket will give us 16. Let us work on another example so that you can perfectly understand the lesson. Evaluate 4x square plus open parenthesis 3y plus z cubed close parenthesis if x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, and z equal to 4. From the given equation, we're going to replace x with 2, y with 3, and z with 4. Therefore, it will give us 4 multiplied by 2 squared plus 3 multiplied by 3 plus 4 cubed. Then, we're going to work on the number with an exponent. So, we're going to evaluate 4 cubed, which will give us 64. Then, we are going to multiply 3 by 3 inside the parentheses. 3 by 3 will give us 9. Afterwards, we can add 9 and 64 which will give us 73. Then, we can evaluate 2 squared which will give us 4. If we are going to multiply 4 by 4, it will give us 16. Then, if we're going to add 16 to 73, it will give us 89. Therefore, 4x squared plus open parenthesis 3y plus z cubed close parenthesis when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to 4 will give us 89. Correspondingly, we have learned how to evaluate algebraic expression by using the order of operations. Everything will be easy in the order of operations. Just remember the steps. The first one is evaluate expressions inside grouping symbols. Next, we are going to evaluate all the powers. Then, we are going to multiply and or divide from left to right. And the last step is Add and or subtract from left to right also. So long guys, see you again in the next math lesson.